Hi, it's Valerie and welcome to the Connection Coach Tune-Up. So it's so interesting because this week's topic is about finding your voice and normally it takes me about one, two, maybe three at the most takes to do these. Usually I try to do them in one shot and then I don't really watch them again. Well, I have recorded this probably about maybe 10 times, maybe more, and I keep screwing up what I want to say, the words that want to come out. And I'm going to this place of absolute frustration and I was like, oh, well, it's perfect, right? We teach what we learn. And so the topic this week for finding your voice and recognizing that your voice is necessary, I feel is so tremendous because since everything is sound, it's what we say and what we speak to is so important. And since everything is energy, everything resonates at a certain vibrational frequency. And so the words that we speak and the words that we internally think are impacting us all the time. And so we have different stories, different limiting beliefs, different traumas that have occurred throughout our lives that have caused this part of us to cut off in a lot of different ways. And so all that said, the reason why I'm redoing this whole thing is because I wanted to share with you a story of something that happened, and I also decided that August 5th, the next Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I'm going to offer a live video where you can actually tune in and ask questions. And I want to talk about this topic in detail a little bit and really see the ways in which we can tap into and connect with that part of us so we recognize that our voice is necessary and that in being conscious in this area of our lives, we really can manifest so much more of what we do want instead of the, getting the things that we don't. And so the other night, I'll just tell this quick story. Um, at the Steamboat Movement Fest, we had um, Donna Delore, who's one of my most favorite, favorite people, um, kirtan singers on the planet and performers. She's an amazing performer. She came. And before the evening started, I said to myself, I said, I just wish that I could sing with Donna. Well, lo and behold, in the middle of the performance, my friend gave me a microphone and I started to sing um, harmony with Donna. So it was huge for me. Well, later on that evening when the second band came in, I um, it was a smaller group of us and one of my old assistants was there and she knows that I sing and she got up and she asked them if I could sing and I was unaware that she was doing this. So they called me up on stage and they didn't know any songs that I knew. So I, they were like, well, just improv, improv, scat. And so my friends were sitting there and I just, at first I was like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And then I just started busting out. I don't even know what it sounded like, but I just let, let the music move through me. And as uncomfortable as it was and everything was coming up in me, I was freaking out inside and I just decided to just give it a shot and let go. And I did it and they just stood there and they cheered me on after and it was amazing. But the most beautiful part about it for me was when I was in high school, we had a talent show, and someone asked me if I would sing back up with them. And so I did. And he told me to improv. And so I did. And as I'm improving in the middle of it, he just looks at me and he goes, You're doing it wrong. And so after that, I literally have never felt comfortable improving ever. It's just been totally out of my comfort zone and makes me clam up and feel so not worthy enough, not good enough, incapable. Every single victim core wound comes up in that. And so that evening for me, that was like a huge breakthrough on so many levels. And so it gave me a new story. It gave me a new feeling of empowerment. And so that's just one little story of how powerful the voice can be. And when we really do shift our neuro association, when we understand and learn the limiting beliefs or the stories or the traumas that are holding us back, we get to get, we get really clear on who we are in present time. We step into that adult to who we are now and we get to reframe and change and show up differently in a way that is more powerful. So 
I hope you can jump on the call. Stay tuned for that information on my Facebook page as well as staying connected on the newsletter. Check out my site at ValerieDiambrosio.com. See the different ways that you can get involved and really start stepping into your power and really connecting on all different levels in your life to create the thriving relationships that you deserve. And I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you next Wednesday, August 5th at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. As always, expect great things.